Dear customer, uh, we thank you for purchasing the new era syringe pump. This is a model NE1600, which can take six syringes, one, two, three, four, five, six. But the important point is that if you are using 140 ml syringes, because of the space, you can load only four syringes. So you can load at first position, leave the second position. You can load at third position, then uh, this position, leave one position and last. So you can load four syringes of 140 ml. Otherwise, if you are using 50 ml syringes or 30 ml, you can load six syringes at a time. So first of all, we are going to load uh, the syringes. Uh, what this is called the drive nut release lever. To operate this, press it down and then press it inwards. So this becomes free and this complete assembly moves back and forth. So for loading the syringes, you may have to move this. So we are leaving it here. So let us load uh, the two syringes of 140 ml. These are the monoject syringes and the volume is 140 ml. So this is your barrel and this is your plunger. So this is your barrel flange and this is your plunger flange. So let us load this. Here are the two nuts. This is called plunger bracket nuts and these are the two nuts and these two nuts are <clears throat> barrel bracket nuts so move it anti-clockwise and this will become loose once this will be loose this is the barrel retainer bracket and this is the plunger retainer bracket so you can see that there is some gap in these gaps, these two flanges will come out. So I'm loading two syringes. Hold the syringe like this, that your barrel flange is in the gap between and your plunger flange is in this gap. Make sure that your plunger flange should be quite tight, otherwise it will not work. So Keep it in between and press this nut a little bit. Now I am loading the other syringe. Same way, press it a little bit and tighten this nut clockwise. It should be tight that So we have <clears throat> fixed the two flanges of the plunger. These should be hand tight only, but enough tight so that this plunger should not come out. Now you can see that these are tightened. Now we will tighten the barrel flanges. So tighten these two nuts, one and second on the other side. Hand tight is enough. So the plunger is also tightened. And this is a barrel retainer bar. So lift it up and move it and keep it like this so that the syringes are in position. Now the syringes are loaded and the second step is to run the machine. This machine operates on 12 volt DC. So this is your adapter, which converts the 220 volts to 12 volts DC. Put this power cord in the source. And this is the on off switch. So put the power and put the switch on. Once you will put the switch, you will see that this is flashing. Press any arrow key and this will go. 
Now, to run the machine. So now in the next step, uh, we are going to run the machine. The syringes are loaded. This machine operates at 12 volts. So this is your converter, which will convert your 220 volts to 12 volt DC. I'm connecting it, putting it on. And on the back side, there is a power slot inserted and put this switch on. So you can see that some display is flashing. If you want to stop it, press any arrow key. Now we have to give some values like diameter of the syringes, what volume we want to infuse or withdraw and with what rate. So first thing we will go to diameter. I press the diameter key. So it is showing 38 mm. It's already there. In the manual, you will find one chart where all the internal diameters of different different syringes are there. This is a monoject syringe and 140 ml is the volume. So the dia we have to enter is 38 mm. So here it's already 38 mm. I'm leaving it. The next thing we have to give the volume and rate. So I'm coming to rate, press the rate. Here the unit is ml per minute. Suppose if you want to change from ml per hour, press the rate again, and you will see that these two LEDs are blinking. And now this is changing, ml per hour, microliter per hour, ml per minute. So I'm leaving at ml per minute. And now it is, the two LEDs are stable. It means that the unit is set at ml per minute. Now I will give the flow of 30 ml per minute. So these in these four arrows, each correspond to one digit. So for 30, my number should be 3000. So first is one. With each stroke, this will increase. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 0, 0. Suppose you want to change this arrow so press the first button, keep on pressing it. So you see that, you will see that the arrow dot is moving. Leave it like this. One, two, three. So I've set the flow of 30 ml per minute. Now suppose I want to dispense 60 ml volume. So I will go to volume. Here the parameter is ml. If I want to change it, press again the volume. And it comes to dispensed LED also lights and press the right arrow key. So ML microliter, ML microliter. So you can select whatever you want, sir. Here I am selecting ML, so I am leaving it here. Again press the volume so that the dispensed LED goes. And now I can enter my volume. Suppose I want to enter 60 ML. So here the first I will say 60, 6, 60 ML. So my diameter is fixed at 38 mm, rate is fixed at 30 ml per minute, volume is fixed at 60 ml. And now we just have to press start. So you can see that this plunger is moving. At this moment we have not filled with any solvent or water. So this is infusing. In between the run, if you want to see that how much volume is dispensed, you can press the volume button and you see that this is the dispensed volume. So this is how the syringe pump works. If you want to withdraw it, stop this pump, press this arrow key so that this withdraw LED will keep will lit. So now in the withdrawal mode and if this time you will press the start, you can see that the plunger is moving in or it is withdrawing. So this is quite a simple machine and I hope uh, this video will help you in running the machine. But still, if you are having any further queries, please don't hesitate to contact Unigenetics. We are always at your service. Thank you so much.